Hey friends, today I am at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I'm here today to just explore the resort and also grab some dinner at Whispering Canyon Cafe. This is one of my favorite Disney World resorts. I absolutely love it here. So let's go do this. And it has to be one of the most beautiful Disney resorts or resorts just in the world. It's like a gigantic log cabin full of geysers, waterfalls, wood carvings, fireplaces, rocking chairs, so much to love. I am also very interested in seeing if Whispering Canyon Cafe is actually offering the skillet. I love their skillets. Their all you can eat skillets are probably the best on property and it most certainly has one of the best lobbies <laughs> i love it here holy moly oh, that smell all of disney resorts have a distinct smell this one's like pine and wood i love it the fireplace is burning. Usually there is just lines and rows of rocking chairs here, but now they're spread out perfectly for your safety, two at a time. Still one of the greatest places just to relax after a long day at the park. So much detail from the light fixtures to like I said, the wood carvings, look at this. Anybody know who that is right there? I mean, I know you got Mickey, Goofy and Donald, but let me know in the comments if you know who that is. Even though there are a lot of things they can't do because of the whole entire socially distancing requirement, they still have a pretty good amount of entertainment and dining and shopping and even a hidden Mickey hunt. For dining, like I said, Whispering Canyon Cafe is open, Geyser Point, and then the Roaring Fork, which is the quick service. They do not have Artisan Point open yet shopping the mercantile is open you can always do the hidden mickey hunt the fire rock geyser is going to shoot off every hour from 9 a.m to 10 p.m but i don't think we're doing any s'mores or anything like that still very fun to be here though fun fact actually before disney closed down i was going to actually come here and eat at artisan point for the first time that was the reservation i had i think the week that they closed down and I never got to do it. So when it opens back up, it's definitely on the list. Our reservation isn't for a little bit. So I want to go kind of roam around the resort a little bit. But soon we will be back here and trying one of the fantastic skillets at Whispering Canyon Cafe. As we go to head outside, I want to show you some of the cool water effects that they actually have here. And it starts right in the main lobby. As you can see, we have a geyser right here in the main lobby and it actually runs outside and you can follow it all the way down to the pool and then right on the other side of the pool, there's the actual big geyser. Because the geyser goes off every single hour, we have three minutes to get down there and catch it. Like I said before, tons of amazing views and rocking chairs. Right on the other side is the water and we're gonna follow it as it actually runs down actually through the resort. You can walk through the boulders there or you can actually head on over to the overlook. See, as we're following the water right down, it drops off of a waterfall right there. And then the water runs down here and this is probably the best view. I love looking up at the waterfall from then down at this angle. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I'm telling you, this is seriously one of the most beautiful resorts I've ever seen. And then the water runs here and obviously it doesn't go in the pool, but it kind of simulates like it's going right into the pool. Just one more look though, because like I said, this is gorgeous. But we have one minute exactly to get on the other side of the pool before the hour shoots off at the geyser. Right next to the salon by the springs, a little pathway right here. And I think I hear the geyser kind of firing up here. Oh, I think I do. And like I said, the water that started in the lobby to the geyser simulating running all the way down 
and then coming out of the pool right onto the major geyser right there oh and right on time i had to adjust the camera because when this shoots off i don't think i'm going to be able to get it in the whole frame of the picture that's how far it actually goes up into the air um it's taking a little while here i'm kind of a little concerned well that makes me a little sad because i don't think they're firing off the guys are as hard as they can maybe uh it has to do with safety i don't know or maybe it's just not working right now i don't know but anywho, it goes probably about 20 30 feet in the air i wish that i could have showed you i wish i could have seen it <laughs> but we're gonna move on and we're gonna head on over to the boat dock Usually you can take transportation from over here to go to Magic Kingdom or to other resorts. They're not operating right now. I'm sure they will operate eventually, but it's still nifty to come check out. And plus this walkway is very pretty over here. And the boat dock leads you right out onto Bay Lake. And if you actually head in that direction right there, ooh, you can actually hear the ferry boat. Oh yeah, you can hear the ferry boat right here from magic kingdom but if you take that waterway it takes you to the seven seas lagoon and the front of magic kingdom everybody seems to be wearing their mask appropriately like i haven't seen anybody not wearing a mask unless they're in the pool area or if they're off to the side having drinks or eating but like people commonly walking around haven't seen one person without their mask on that's awesome I also want to take you over to the Geyser Point side, which is like the bar and grill area. And they also have some recreation that happens on this side. It's very pretty over here. Also, I want to point out, I found a pretty nifty hack to stop with the glasses fogging up. So what I actually do is I lift my glasses off a little bit and then I set them right here on my nose away from my face. It's pretty nifty, actually. Here's normally where you would have marshmallows right next to geysers point very cool bar area they also have pretty interesting food oh and also you notice how the water from the pool like i said runs down into the geyser it runs out into bay lake not really but this is pretty amazing how they make that illusion happen isn't it pretty interesting i decided to get myself a beer and look at this disposable check uh like this is what they hand to you for the check you know they usually have it in the black book but these are disposable i like that they didn't have any bud lights so i went with the mick ultra and also they do serve food here but the quick service location isn't open but you can actually order and right there's the full menu if you'd like to scan it you guys can check it out see what they have to eat gonna take my beer and actually sit out by bay lake it's a beautiful view out here it's why i actually love just hanging out here they have pool table foosball just amazing views oh the cushions are all gone though but they're not marked like you can't sit here so i'm, I'm assuming you can sit here but they probably just took the cushions in because of rain but look at that what a view over there in the corner is bay lake if you actually stand probably right about here you can actually watch happily ever after because they do shoot them off kind of over space mountain uh, it's just kind of the way they layer them to make it look like they're coming right behind the castle but i love it here it is amazing after enjoying the beautiful views for a little bit while i enjoyed my beer it is time for our dinner reservation so we're gonna head back up to the lobby and go to whispering canyon cafe which is perfect because i am hungry i am very hungry and look at those buffalo topiaries got a little baby buffalo and then a big buffalo oh that makes sense those are buffalo tracks like i mentioned before the roaring fork is open but everything is via virtual menu or mobile ordering i do believe all of the grab and go stuff is actually available but they are marked off for social distancing so you just grab go and pay right there if not you order and pick up this is also one of my favorite hallways right here there was a time where i actually rolled down this whole entire thing I don't know if I should say I'm proud of that, but it was a lot of fun. 
right outside of artisan point is the territory lounge which is kind of like the bar lounge area inside with the wilderness lounge is not open so basically you have warring folk and the whispering canyon cafe and also geyser point only couple areas you can actually relax get something to eat get something to drink and that's it because artisan point is storybook dining which is featured snow white they do have plenty of snow white art for sale look at this that is amazing that is the diamond mine mining with the dwarves unbelievable i don't even think it has a price tag on it but that's expensive i bet the frame alone they do offer mobile check-in so you can just open up your app and say you're ready to eat and check yourself in and then they can call you whenever you're ready or you can line up and actually check in right here they do have the separators and they just called me in so here we go hello <laughs> very excited Ooh, i love the tables in here it's so nice very colorful get to take the mask off Thank you. She said I'm handsome. Cool. I feel very special now. I think I'm gonna scan the menu anyways. So there it goes. I mean, I know what I'm going for. I'm definitely going for the traditional, but I wanted to show you guys what it actually all comes with. So the traditional comes with oak smoked mustard barbecue beef brisket maple chipotle pork ribs slow smoked pulled pork citrus herb chicken western style sausage smashed potatoes butter corn and green beans all you care to enjoy for 34 dollars that's what i like and like i said they have different options the pig the land the sea and the plant-based the reason I went with the traditional is because I'm kind of really in the mood for brisket. I do love brisket. I love trails and brisket. So uh, that's why I went with that one. If not, I probably would have went with the pig because I do like a lot of pork. But I think instead of brisket, you get wings. Normally when you dine at the Whisper and Cannon Cafe, the actual cast members are very theatrical when it comes to waiting on you. For instance, uh, sometimes they'll be more off-putting, like uh, you're inconveniencing them, or they could literally throw a stack of straws at you. And God forbid you ask for ketchup here, but because of the current restrictions, a lot of that is toned down quite tremendously but as you've seen when we walked in i got talked to uh probably about three times just on my way to the table and as people just walk about they still stop and actually say some random things to you which is really funny before you actually get your platter you get a serving of cornbread and coleslaw oh Wow. <laughs> right on time. Woo! Woo! I do what I can, man. I'm a vine reader. <laughs> but I actually don't like coleslaw, so I just went with the cornbread. And look at that. Look at that butter. It's like a honey butter. I like it. Well, I don't know if I like it. I probably won't like it. I don't like butter. But it looks good. <laughs> but I'm not going to fall for their antics. I know what they do here. They give you all this cornbread to fill you up so you don't eat an extra serving of the platter but let me tell you something i'm in the mood for the meat sweats so i'm gonna just taste the cornbread and it's very good i said i wasn't going to fall for it but i already ate three pieces of that cornbread so i'm gonna like distance it over there to my friends you know let them have some of my cornbread Thank you. <laughs> and look at that. The skillet is here. This is a lot of food for one person. Man, I do know though, if you do like something like in particular, then you can just ask for a little bit more of that. You know what I mean? So like if I really like the sausage, I can be like, can I just have a little bit more sausage? Not the whole skillet. <laughs> so this is really really awesome but the chef came out and actually brought me the 
ingredients for the pig platter. So that is the uh, burnt ends or the pork belly and the piggy wings. And then he also brought me some of the salmon so that way I can taste pretty much all of the platters. That's awesome, right? He also said, I'm very happy that you found your phone. Isn't that awesome? So that means he must have watched my video from Animal Kingdom. I don't think I'm gonna be able to just go bite by bite and tell you what I think about each item because because he brought out those other things, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve different food items to try here. So I think I'll just eat it and then pinpoint some of the things that I think are just phenomenal and just overall talk about it once I get done. They also told me that the mashed potatoes were like their signature item. They said it's like their own recipe. So I think I'm gonna try some of these smashed potatoes here. They look really creamy and rich. Oh yeah, that's good potatoes. Oh wow, good job. Oh, there are potatoes over here. Good? What do you like best so far? I don't know. Uh, not the service. Listen here! Go back to your section. Are you lost? <laughs> Unbelievable. I think I got the brisket and uh, the pulled pork. I love the sausage. The sausage is my favorite. So yeah, so I, I destroyed the sausage. Yeah, that was really Wait till fun. you get to the piggy wings. I have officially tried just about every single thing except for the piggy wings and I have to say the sausage was probably my favorite thing I really love the sausage everything has a big smoky flavor to it and I like that I like it a lot so I might as well try these piggy wings here I don't even know how to eat them That's good. Oh yeah. The cast member just came over and asked me how everything was. And I said, wow, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this because I really don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this. And she said that because I'm one single person, I got the single person skillet. So this is actually a single person skillet. If there's two people, they give you two of each meat and then so on. So like if there's three, they give you three and eventually there's bigger size skillets. So I couldn't even finish the one person skillet, which makes me a little bit sad. And now I think I am finished. Dinner was absolutely delicious i love the staff here they are in such great spirits and they're doing a great time making everything magical joking around like i said they have some limitations to what they normally could do they can't do anymore but they're still making the best of the situation and i appreciate that so kudos to them and i'm not just saying that because they brought me some extra food they were really fantastic and if I was actually staying here, I probably would come over here after dinner and just fall asleep in front of the fireplace and then probably wake up and walk up to my room. But unfortunately, I have to go home. And I know if I sat down in front of that fireplace, it would have been lights out. So that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and we'll see you next time. Bye.